Welcome everybody to Solo Leveling Episode 11. Let's go. He presses yes, he's transported into a McDonald's. I was just gonna make that same joke. <laughs> Whoa. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm glad he went away from civilization for this one. Uh oh. The rest was just the prologue to solo leveling. Oh, the, is this the Red Knight from the OP? Mm. I was just thinking about that. I was like, oh, I wonder if we'll see that soon. Mm -hmm. Everybody's been hyping it up like nonstop, so. I wonder if we'll get a new LP soon. I hope not. <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wonder what they'll do for it. I, I hope if they do, it's at least another uh, Sawano song. Because mm. um, I recall like um, Seraph of the End where the first OP and ED were Sawano and then we watched the rest and they were not nearly as good. Mm. Mm. His older, more businessman brother is better than him. Oh! <laughs> it's like a, a Dark Souls PvP. You, ha you have the Estus Flask, but you're not allowed to use them. Unless you're a bitch. Oh, it's not even the Red Knight yet. It's gonna be like a gauntlet of different least skilled knights. Mm. And they, I bet he can't use the poison on them as well. Yeah. Really strong armor. Ooh. That's weird. Oh. Oh, shit. Terrible idea. Four at once now? It's really up in the difficulty quickly. <laughs> he barely touched his food. What a bitch. So they are in, uh, in, in mm -hmm. Europe and Middle East? Okay. All right. Mm. I'm just calling him out. Oh, it's like the Oh shit. Defeated an assassin. Oh now a mage. Oh, no, There's like a whole enemy party. Mahotsukai. Mm. And an archer as well. As he was just thinking, like, oh, I need to up, up my intelligence. Oh. 
all dripped out. They're all dripped out. Look at them. You going to the island already? I think so. That's really lucky. I was going to say, if you don't get any water or anything either. Hmm. Can steal their. It's like a magical shield, so we can look like a normal person. Hmm. <laughs> I can keep my normal drip while being more protected. So what you're saying is nothing about it changes. I just get a buff. W. All right, here we go. Big boss fight. Oh, there's only halfway through. Mm. Oh. He's got like the dragon slayer. What the fuck? He looks like a Silver Knight from, literally from Dark Souls, but it's red. If we cut to another fucking business meeting or another stupid dinner right now, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> Watch. No, we're going for it. Oh my God. Ooh. Just dies immediately. Maybe you should have stealthed into here. Yeah. Oh my god. Just go sit in the throne, maybe he'll stop. Cut off his hair. Okay, maybe it's like Ornstein from fucking Dark Souls, actually. Is there gonna be a big fat guy with a hammer that drops down to help him? We didn't have like a club or something. Yeah, need bludgeoning damage. You're just gonna beat him up? Why don't you just punch with your other hand and block with your dagger? Oh, oh. shit! Takes off his. Oh my god! I like that. That's cool, actually. That is pretty That's cool. actually really cool. And of course, here we are at another fucking office session right now. Tell me, when you were reading the book, did it cut randomly to a bullshit fucking office with the mahogany furniture just to tell us some bullshit about some shit we already know about well, how. I've been clearing up the non urgent. Okay, if it's not urgent, leave me alone. If it's not urgent, let's go back to the fight. I dropped another tack, by the way. Don't, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> I love hearing about the media. Tell me about the mainstream media and how they aren't covering the true dungeon affairs. Cool. Alright. Thank you for that digression. <laughs> Just going back to his roots of someone who gets beat. popping off right now too. The animation's going crazy. Mm. 
Fuck. Oh my god. I really like the design of this knife. Me way. too. Oh, I did the Ooh. fucking Chun Li helicopter kick to the neck. Oh, oh, did he like disconnect it somehow? No, it just. It all went. The 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 vision went dark though. That was a good hit, regardless. Oh my God. <laughs> Threw him into the throne. <laughs> I command you to stop. Is that actually how he's gonna defeat this thing? That'd be funny. It just bows. Oh. She's about to get taken. She is about to get taken. Oh, she just gets murdered. She doesn't get taken. I feel like she'd probably get kidnapped so that, that cause because or else how would he find him, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, in the hospital? Mm-hmm. Or nothing, yeah. nothing at all. Just they're just re this reminding us what he what he's doing this for, you know. In case this is your first episode of the show, he does have a family. Oh, he's gonna have inner monologue and then blow back with a Super Saiyan transformation. Of oh, the armor. <laughs> It's other eye. Nope. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God. Ooh, that was good. Did did he win? Just just make sure. Just. Just a few more. What if he takes off the helmet and it's himself? <laughs> takes off the helmet and it's his dad. Egress the blood red. Well, he did it. Damn. Another one just pops out. Oh, shit. Wow. Money. Helmet. Mm. Vitality and strength. Ooh. Mm. Not bad. What skill would that be? Mm. Homeward bone. Where will you be teleported to? <laughs> he has to go oh, somewhere fuck. else. Is it gonna be like a me many of them? Survive as long as what? possible. Oh, what? Oh, he uses the teleportation stone to get out when he can't handle it anymore. <laughs> oh, just normal ones. I thought it was all gonna be red. I was like, that would be so dumb. But still. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's not very good. Kill the mage. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Ow. It's not that bad. I do just didn't work. Oh, drops it. Ah. Uh. That's a big L for you, my friend. Good luck. No, now they all run that. in! So you guys were all like zombies a second ago. Now you're super fast. And the episode's gonna end. Yeah. That was a good episode. That was a really good episode. This one and the last one. Like I, f I feel like I've like like the 
whatever the episode nine was when we started with today, right? Yeah. This yeah, is the third like that one. Too. Like it, it, it was it was okay. The last one I really liked because it felt like the story was really going, and then this one. This this is like I think the most invested I've been in a fight in the sh- yeah in by the far, show by far. it was really cool the enemy like looked super cool he was really intimidating and very interesting the way that it, that it was it kept with the theme yeah. of being a knight and it was chivalrous yeah he like he dropped he put away his weapon and then it did as well but then for, it p- picked it up again late like yeah it, it was really cool the animation was crazy they were flipping all over the place um, yeah. I, I, re- I really like that, and then I like that it's not over, and he he keeps going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The only, everything I I want I have a, I have stuff to say that I really liked, but before that, I just I can't tell you how annoyed I am every time it cuts to some shit that does not matter. Like I understand that them going to the island and and like doing another raid does matter. Cutting in right where they did doesn't help the pacing no. of the outside stuff like outside of the scene that we're in and it doesn't help the fight at all. It worsens the fight. It completely stops the momentum and you have to restart it. It's not a big deal to restart it, but it's just like, why there? Like, what's the point of doing it there? Mm -hmm. It doesn't serve, like so much has been building up to this and everybody's been building up. Like I've, I've seen comments like building up this fight and it's like, why, why do that? Like it doesn't, it, it literally does not help the show at all to do that. It doesn't make us make me more endeared to the other people there. Like you could have put that conversation where he's like, I never left the island. First of all, we already know that. If you wanted to have that, you could have had that at another point, which which you did. We've had we've seen we've heard him say similar things previously. You could have had him say that after the battle with the knight. Yeah. I just don't like cutting in like two or three times into this like super hype, epically animated, beautiful fight sequence. Like it's it's like you, you just you, it, yeah, I, I don't know why you're giving me this like beautiful like work of art in segments. It's like painting a a big mural, cutting mm-hmm. it into thirds, and then and then like spreading them around like <laughs> like it randomly. Like it just doesn't make it doesn't it doesn't help the show at all. It only hurts the show. And they think that it's making the show better. And I'm sure a lot of people who read the source material do think that like those scenes really add to me. I just I, I you know it's a I can make it a, I can see it as a different. I don't want to talk about it too much because yeah. there's another thing I want I want to say. But like there's I can see people liking that and and liking that in other places it's a matter of taste so i I can get that a lot of people like a lot of the new content i just feel like there's they just really pick the worst times to make cuts the worst times for cliffhangers most of the time like we've talked about before it's just like there's ways to do it there's ways not to do it and i feel like they this is a perfect example of why of how not to do it but other than that the animation was really good the music was used very well the 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 environment was really good yeah like just the whole design and the and, and the progression of the, the design didn't have a it? Did, was one of his like horns missing the whole time was it always like asymmetrical if it was that's really cool yeah. it was always asymmetrical i really like that that mm-hmm. it's all that it's not like perfectly symmetrical like you know it adds a as an interesting aspect to design one shoulders round one shoulders mm-hmm. like a little bit pointy the uh, long the, like um i know it's not his actual hair but like the, the yeah, like that the, like adds like adds piece, movement yeah. um as as he's flying yes. around and fighting and we have all these other adds, that are it gives us a, a sense of speed yeah, as well yeah that are like really bulky armor but his armor like he he has like speed and agility as well as yeah. the defense of armor yeah um and it's a really cool color like just mm-hmm. simply i also really like i don't know it it seems like he must have been inspired by guts Mm-hmm. Uh, when he gets the berserker armor, this is a, like asymmetrical too on the the one shoulder. Yeah, that's what has, I was like, pointing out yeah. earlier. Yeah, how one shoulder's round, one shoulder's pointed. But like with the segmented, it looks like the chest piece specifically, and it's some of the arms and the legs look a lot like, and the the belt kind of piece mm. um, look like. Uh, I mean, I said the silver knight from Dark Souls, but the it looks a lot like the berserker armor uh, in some ways. And then he also has the um, the sword, which is it looks very much like. Like the Dragon Slayer, but also like if anybody's read the proto- prototype manga for Berserk, it's like a, a chapter long, you know, uh, pilot of, of what the Berserk manga would go, would go on to be. And the, the sword has that like kind of flared edge towards the, the hilt, uh, but it's still like, so I, I think that it's, it may be an inspiration thing, but it's, it, it's also referential in a way that's interesting. Cause like if you're reference, if you're going to make a reference to something like, Guts is from Berserk, this, this huge, like, world-renowned manga character. Uh, and I don't know, this is just a Im- inference. I don't know if he act- if the if the uh, artist actually originally did or if the author originally did or whatever. But s- s- taking that, like, assuming that it is a reference, 
making this like uh, this enemy character based in some way off of uh, a really well known powerful character it gives it, it that, that's a way of like setting kind of some stakes at the beginning like mm-hmm. p- these points of connection of the sword looking kind of like dragon slayer the the armor in the whole hallway i wonder if it is also referential to um dark souls one the fight with uh, ornstein and smog it's the whole room kind of looks very similar to this, all the pillars it's not really a unique design to that but these are really like very popular bits of fantasy so i wonder if these things were an inspiration if they were that's really cool but if they were also it's it, what i'm trying to say is that it um it sets expectations yes it sets expectations for the audience and and it makes you kind of take the take the fight seriously from the get go when you first see the knight walk onto the scene and if you've noticed these kind of motifs or these these points of connection it uh, can kind of set you up for success you know if the, if you're choosing like really popular points of inspiration so I, I think it's really cool and it's just fucking badass like it's just a really cool mm-hmm. striking image it looks really cool, and I just love it, and it's great. And I love mm. all the red effects with the sword to, like, match it as well. Like, it just has a very strong sense of identity, which is, I, I think that's part, you know what? I think that's actually what really hits me about this from an anime perspective, is that a lot of this show ha- is has been lacking mm. a sense of identity. And I think that it has, a lot of people have talked about, like, how the art style has been sort of streamlined and how it was very expressive and, uh... Uh, I don't know, unique looking from the time that it came out and for the manhwa when, when everybody was reading it, it was really popular. And that's been my disappointment as an anime only viewer seeing like having everybody hype up the art, the art style and the, uh, the designs and everything. And then for it to look like the most generic a one picture show that I've ever seen uh, mm-hmm. from character designs, magic styles, magic systems, the whole like uh, uh, overlay thing. Like it all looks pretty well the most generic possible and in a way the knight does uh, egress does look very generic as well but it's generic in a way that is like um it's not generic it's it's like it's supposed to be like the knight like the knight like enemy the, this is what you the expect, blood the red cool, knight. yes like, it's like okay you're gonna have this like cool looking red knight guy that is like super badass and he's he's red which is cool like it's cool color yeah. he's like he, he's got this like long like cape and, and this he's got he's got everything about him is like made for maximum coolness yes but it delivers on it and it's like it's like everything it's like okay we're setting this expectation by like this is the different this is the, this is the boss yeah and he lives up to it, and he looks like it. And looking at him, you immediately know like his role yeah. in the in the story. Yeah. But he still feels unique, and he has enough things about him visually that you recognize them compared to other things, and therefore are like, oh, I like understand that he's cool because he reminds me of these other cool yeah, things. Yeah, exactly. But he's also like a little bit like he, he, with the asymmetry and uh, you know certain aspects about him. It has that idea. Give him his own character. In, in a respectable way that makes it entertained. Like, you want to fight with this guy and, and see what see what he can do, you know? Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, you know, it, it's... it's it, There's there's generic, and then there's um, drawing upon convention in a way that works for you. Mm-hmm. And I think that that's what a lot of people like solo leveling for as a story, is that it draws on a lot of conventions. It draws on a lot of, um, you know, familiar things. And that's what they want out of it. Um... And, and I think that this this is the perfect example of doing that right and doing that well, except for when they completely halt everything so that they could show a shit that we've yeah. either already seen or do not need to be shown and, right there. And I will say, I think that that must purely be like a director issue like like i especially since like i like i don't think that in i mean you can correct me if i'm wrong but i highly doubt that it was written that way in the first place to cut away strategically and it it was a little bit too bad because i am really like aside from the main plot line i think i am most interested in that island like you know there's a bit of mystery around it um, like, I'm more interested in that, per se, than the brother of that guy that's gonna, yeah. like, be coming after us for vengeance, uh, apparently. Yeah. Like, I, I, that, I'm kind of like... That seems like, like the main a, story, There's a bit though. of a threat of that guy. Like, say, like, like everybody's always talking about... Sorry, finish what you're saying. I guess what I was saying is, like, I, I think the potential of this island and, like, 
the, the main character possibly like getting to the level that he can go and like retake this like mythical island that has been a problem for so long. I think like that is an interesting idea and something to kind of work towards in the background. So I, I'm I am interested in these guys going and seeing it, but it makes me less interested in it when it's when I'm like, why are you showing like when I feel yeah. annoyed like I yes. I yeah. am interested in it, but I become immediately less interested when I feel that them showing me that is ruining my enjoyment of something else. Yeah. I don't think, oh, I'm I'm so hyped about this, and I'm also so hyped about this. I'm like, this is kind of cool, but it can wait, or it could have been shown at a different time. I want to be in this fight, yeah. you know? Yeah, it's like stay in the moment, you know? Yeah. That, that's, that's what we want. Yeah, and I, actually, I agree with how you put that, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like whether or not you're actually excited about them going to the island is irrelevant because it is interrupting something that you're also already excited yeah. about. So instead of those things working together, they're actively working against each other by putting them mm -hmm. by putting by ordering them in this way. And um, yeah, that's that's the, that's probably the simplest way to put it. Mm -hmm. um, which is a shame because there's no reason why you can't do it another way. And then you know you're excited mm -hmm. about everything. But also it's nitpicky. It, some people might see it as nitpicky because I'm sure a lot of people are just like they don't give a shit. And it, to them the trick of get everybody hyped up and then cut away and then leave them watching and you're just like, oh, let me get back. And then you get back, you're like, yeah, we're back. I think that's what is the intended effect. And I think for a lot of people, for most people, that, that works. For me, it's just fucking annoying. I think even it could have been done, like, you know, when he like went through all of the regular nights and then he was gearing up to go in here. Like he could have even had a moment where he's like gonna open the doors and then it cuts away to that stuff and it's like they are like getting ready to like go on their quest. Yeah. And then he goes in, so then we still get like that moment of like things are building up at the same time. Yeah. But without without just it was just a bit too much disruption on something yeah. that 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 was really cool and it has been That's, my favorite part of the show exactly. so far. That yeah. I feel I feel like I'm like oh I'm getting into it and you're taking me out of it and then I'm getting into it and you're taking me out of it and it yeah. Yeah. I still like it. It's, I like it a just, lot. That's the problem. Too, it, that's what's. It's a bit frustrating because I, if I didn't care about this fight, then I wouldn't care as much that they were cutting away. And also on top, on top, like, cause we've mentioned all of this a million times before with the show. And that's also the problem is that like, even when there's something really crazy happen happening, it's not like, okay, we normally run the, sh like, okay, you expect this kind of like awareness as a director. It's like, okay. We need to, we have all these scenes, we have like these scenes, these scenes written towards this story, we have seen these, and now we need to decide in terms of time restraints, in terms of editing, how we're going to put them all together in a mm -hmm. way that, you know, tells the story and gives everything its equal time, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, and it feels like they don't have that conversation of, this is a really big hype moment that a lot of people are excited mm -hmm. for. Let's give it its due. You know, we normally run the show in this way. Let's like switch that up for this moment and keep it fully in the action and fully in the moment. Yeah. Instead, they it feels like they don't actually, the only thing they're really concerned with is like, we need to add stuff so that it's not, you know, people aren't going to complain that yeah. the side characters weren't. It's like, they're so singled in on this one thing and, I, I feel weird complaining about it so much because so many people either do not care or actively love that. And it's actually, it's really confusing to me because I, it's just like, it feels like the show is constantly working against itself, even in the moments where it really has the opportunity mm -hmm. to like, you know, switch up its formula of, you know, here's a scene of mm -hmm. what was in the main story or what the main thing is about. Let's switch it up and add this shit from these characters that didn't even say a fucking word until like 300 chapters in or whatever, yeah. it, whatever it is. So yeah, it's, it, it would have been a good opportunity to stay in the moment. I, yeah, sorry. But yeah, it, it's just, it, it's that it's so good. It's that like, like the animation, every frame of this fight was so fucking good. And it, 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 it was, it was put together so well and all the like big badass looking shots of the night, like the close ups and then fully standing up like in the smoke, like any time the night was on screen, I was just like, it's so cool. It's mm -hmm. so fucking cool. And I like, I feel like invested in, in the fight, you know? Mm -hmm. I knew he's probably gonna come up on top probably, but like, may, you know, we he already have an example of him failing and having to leave a big battle yeah. and then having to return to it. So like, I don't know how this is gonna work. I don't know exactly, you know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm excited to see how it goes. So yeah, I, and I, it was just, it was gripping like all, mm -hmm. the whole way through. So it was really good. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that. W. Leave a like and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one, Garzin. I'm Lindsay. Bye-bye. Solo leveling episode 
Solo leveling episode 12. Let's go. Grab that red guy's sword. This is your guts moment. <laughs> She grabbed one of the hammers. Ow. Ow. You better find that stone fast before you pass out now. Is he hallucinating? This is literally his guts moment. What am I doing here? やめておいた方がいいです。死亡時間。どうしてわざわざ聞き戻すんだい。異球だったお前がそこまで成長できたの。それだけでも十分だろうお前。違うか。It's so creepy. <laughs> Is this gonna be that? Is this yeah? Where I'm like, I'm like, did we just get spoiled? I never paid much attention to it. I thought until it was just now. like a thing that, but you showed, you did it. Uh, There's a little pink shit. I don't know if it was blood or what, but earlier in the op. Oh shit. He's gonna go to the penalty now. He's gonna, that's what, I was thinking about this, I should, should have said it before, he, he'll go in the, the penalty, and then he can, if he can last in the penalty, then he gets the full, like, mm. heal that he wasn't allowed in there. But he'll get it, and then I think he should go back there. Well, time to go running for 48 hours or whatever it is. Mm hmm. I was thinking, because I'm like, they mentioned that for a reason. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a nice break from fighting, at least. Clear your head. Nice relaxing jog. Oh. Is the name oh, a million be, of them. Is the name not going to be red now? Because he's like leveled up. Oh yeah, they're not as serious, so we can actually fight them. Whoa! Ooh, look at this! I feel like the show's getting like way more beautiful with each episode. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, look at that! Look at that! That was really nice. Like, it, it feels like the show is just kind of all right, and every episode, it get the animation seems to be getting better and better. Mm -hmm. Like with shit like that, you know, like it's so expressive. Oh boy! Oh no, he's gonna come back. They keep like baiting us that she's gonna get taken or I know. killed or something. <laughs> A night killer. Ooh. Mm. Nice, now he's got the two knives. What's the skill? I never know why he doesn't just do it right away if it 
like because you, you get the skill afterwards, right? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, telekinesis oh. Doesn't, doesn't require mana. Yeah. So I guess you could just like saber throw all that, but like saber throw. Yeah. Mm. You can like throw the armor dagger around and. Is there a limit to the size? Okay. Oh, okay. So you gotta level up the ability. Take a deep breath. Oh, four hours. <laughs> Did four hours count there too? So he, he gets to stay in there for way longer than he should have <laughs> by uh, like, the time thing. <laughs> What is that? これは使えるじゃないか。ないときだ。普通でなんかよっぽどいい。この違和感は何だ。いくら倒しても手応えがない。するけ配するない。それを使うのは何をして。Are they controlling you?。どうしても経験値が出れば狙うわ。もう絶対勝った。うん。Oh, okay. I thought it was like gonna be. Oh, it's actually a person. Nice. I, I love that. Uh, the, the daggers. Ooh, that's come the back shot. Down. That's the shot. He's just shredding through these guys now. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, like you said. Ooh, that yeah. looks really cool. <laughs> See, like, look at that. We didn't get shots like that in like episode two. You know what I mean? Oh, but now they're all working. Look at this. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, I made like a golem out of all of them. That's sick. Oh, I love the sword sticking in the yeah. back of it. Ooh, the environment. I love that. You catch it or just crush it. He needs to get the mages. W. It's not being controlled by those guys? There might be another secret one. Maybe as a core? <laughs> you just had to beat it in a thumb war. Whoa. That was sick. That was really cool. Again, it, like that's even better, or at least on par, or better animation. Like in that whole sequence to to last mm -hmm. episode, it's pretty cool. It just keeps outdoing itself. The show. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds ominous. What? Mo. What? Excuse me? What the fuck is this talking class. about? Necromancer? <laughs> <laughs> Because you're so crazy. Mm. Well, you better hit the books, I, I guess. Well, you don't have to. Just say no. Just do it. You don't. You don't <laughs> What's this peer pressure from the fucking game screen, man? <laughs> just because, just because you have that, like. Will it change all of his stats, or will it just give him so. a new I ability? Just, yeah. I, yeah. I don't think he has to respec his whole fucking skill tree, but. Oh. 
system of s h i t Just try it. But what if it's shit? Exactly. Exactly. You were just making that up for yourself. What if he has to start, start from scratch with new skills and then they, the guy comes and kills his family when he's not strong enough to defend them? <laughs> Could you imagine? そろそろ到着する頃かと思います。うん。遅くまですまない。ついでと言ってはなんだ。少し私の話に付き合ってくれないか。Is it a slower rate or faster rate? Hmm. He gets extra stuff for having survived so long. I didn't think it was gonna. He was gonna be. Whoa. Oh shit. Maybe he can multi class. Yeah, I think that's exactly what's going on. Whoa. Is he flying? Can Whoa. he fly? Look at him, he's radiating death. <laughs> Shadow Monarch. Oh, he like he leveled up so much that it, he just it... instantly. <laughs> Try and raise some of those guys. Is there a drawback to this? I think he's just sick as fuck. Oh, they're like shat. They aren't even physical.、Them. He could just either pose Pokemon.、Mm. That thing. <laughs> I wonder if he can or if he's not strong enough yet. Try it. Oh shit. Are these actually saying. Awaken, not arise, but、mm. I could be wrong. I think it's a translation. Oh. Oh shit. You only have three、Breathe. great balls. Breathe. Say it with more conviction. Like it still has the red. Yeah. Level seven. He looks really fucking cool. Mm hmm. Actually, also didn't say you're with me now. He said, like, 
uh, it's a pleasure to work with you. I'm counting on you. <laughs> How so do you he, know that? Because <laughs> I recognize what he said in Japanese. Yoroshiku tano. Yoroshiku means like a pleasure to do business with you or something like that. Like, mm -hmm. or like, and then uh, Tanuma means it's like you're putting your faith in somebody. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's a really weird translation. Just for, you're with me now. It's like such a <laughs> flat way of Let's go, representing <laughs> what he's. Yeah, he's just like you're you're my objects when really he's like talking to them like he did to a, to awaken mm -hmm. the uh, Igris. He he like spoke to them as if they're loyal servants mm -hmm. and like he's he's respecting their their uh, allegiance to him in this moment. So it, it shows more of a connection that he mm -hmm. has to their to this moment rather than just like oh I'm strong. <laughs> like, yes, you're mine, Pokemon. Mm -hmm. You know, pretty cool. I like this. That episode. was cool. That was yeah, I sick. like this new this this new ability. I wonder how it will be used. As far so aside from all extra shit, yes, him getting this, learning about the necromancy, him like mulling over the details, like makes sense. Like, yeah, am I gonna have to like start from zero all the stuff? But then he you know realized what you said, and where it's just like, oh no, it's just a it's just an upgrade. Yeah. W. Like, j just because you become a necromancer doesn't mean that you can't But he doesn't fight. know that. No. He doesn't fucking know that. Maybe it, it, like, takes away some of your abilities and puts them in other shit, or it, uh, you know, maybe it slows your progress down your main focus and, and, and like, splits your XP in half or something, like, and then it becomes way more difficult to level up, which is, like, his main uh, uh, plus side to all of his shit that, is, mm -hmm. that he can level up, you know? Mm-hmm. I really liked it, and I liked how he has like telekinesis, basically. So, and he has the he bought the second dagger, so now he has two daggers, and he mm -hmm. can like telekinesis. He can dagger, like, dagger. Yeah, he can. He's literally vaxeled on. Um. And uh, yeah, I liked I liked the whole summoning scene. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was it was impactful for me. I I, I really enjoyed it. It was cool mm -hmm. as shit. And I didn't mind them cutting away to this during this part because it actually worked with yes, what was happening. Exactly. Story. It felt like it felt like. The the old, the hunter association Everything leader was, like was talking up. about M exactly mirror. what was yeah. happening, so it like worked together, and this speech that was happening was working in the favor, in tandem, yeah. and and it and it was helping hype up that moment and like bring it to another level, yeah. which I really appreciated because as we talked about the last episode, it, it was just so clunky, yeah. and this episode it felt like. It, it felt like how it should. It yeah. felt like you don't notice it, and I only notice it because it was such a problem before that now I now now I need to commend it for for doing like what is what 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 should be happening. Yeah, the why you like it's doing the thing that is why you would show two scenes in parallel. Mm -hmm. Is there you know the one of them is is elevating the the other thing. You're supposed to be working together to elevate the entire story as a whole, not working against each other. Um, and that's, that's, you know, the whole speech kind of fit with that. My worry for this going forward, because this show is all about, uh, Sung Jiwoo being a badass and like being a Sigma male who's like solo, he's fucking all flying around slicing shit up. Like, I don't see a place in for all these guys, for all these guys to be meaningful in the conflicts going forward i feel like if they as soon as he starts pulling out bit what are basically all these like shadow clones um not literal clones of himself but work similarly if you think of naruto like how he has a bunch of shadow clones sometimes naruto uses the shadow clones in like an interesting way and he tricks the other person into thinking that he's over there when really he's over here and he hits up with her saying mm -hmm. something like that is likely to happen uh, or something, you know, like using it in a tactical way. But generally, I think what they're setting up here is he's going to have, oh, now I have this army. I'm going to show up to this guy who's going to try and hunt down my family because I killed his brother. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show up my armor, army and then the guy's just going to completely obliterate them and it's going to be more of a power, like the same way that they should, that they use crowds to show how powerful he is as the main character. They're going to use that to show how powerful the enemy is as an enemy. Against him. Rather than actually be kind of an interesting, cool ability to use because it was very interesting to see him get it. I think it's a very interesting thing, but I I, I can't help but fear that it's just going to be used as another power scaling metric and just to be used as look how power like oh mm -hmm. he had he got this new ability. He even he didn't even just get the necromancer. He's a level fucking. 
2000 Necromancer and he's a Shadow Monarch, so he's extra powerful as a Necromancer. So that means that these guys and this boss that he's able to summon, he's just got a huge upgrade. This is, we're at a new plateau of power. He has all these minions that are going to fight for him. And we saw one of the minions was like a huge struggle of, of him as an assassin. It was like hard to even mm -hmm. get, get your bearings. He nearly died fighting all of these guys. And now he can summon all of them. Now he's like super powerful. He's going to run up against a brick wall and the next big guy. And it's just going to be a tool to show how cool the big guy is yeah. rather than actually be an interesting ability. And it's going to probably use its, lose its, uh, its usefulness other than if we in the, in the far future recapture the magic of this moment when they go to the when he goes to the island with, island mm -hmm. with them or goes in a big raid with a bunch of other big guys and they need like oh we need an army we're so outnumbered then we're gonna have forgotten about this and then he's gonna snap his fingers and bring out a bunch of soldiers yeah, to fight well with i them. mean he can also like capture or like a awaken arise other dead people like say <laughs> say he like went to the island with all of these like S rank hunters and then they all just got killed, but then he just like reawakened them. Yeah. And they they were just like these guys that were people and then now they're just his minions again. Like something yeah. like that could well, be. Well that crazy. might happen a, a version of that might happen when the brother comes to fight and try to kill him. If if he's strong enough, he's like a really powerful hunter. If mm -hmm. he f kills him, then he can do the same shit to him yeah. potentially. And then, but then, and then that'll that, be well, it feeds into the whole like oh, as you enter the darkness, yeah. And you'll as you you know gaze into the abyss, the get, abyss gazes into yeah. you. Now he's becoming a necromancer. He's becoming darker and darker. He's not only killing people, but now he's raising them from the dead and yeah. capturing their Which souls. Is, it's 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 all well and good when there are like these like slime filled, uh, nameless, faceless night things and like oh egress the knight of a king that doesn't exist yeah like, you know, in, like the, in this like fake kind of fantasy world yeah how does how are you going to reconcile with raising the dead of actual people that have families and people yeah. that care about them um in the real world and where does this ultimately go like because the whole show is about a pursuit of power mm -hmm. and um you know, it's going with the very, again, like, they literally directly mention Nietzsche with the, uh, you know, if you gaze in the abyss, the, base, the abyss gazes back into you, and those who ha those who hunt monsters or those who kill monsters uh, should worry about becoming one themselves, or, or whatever the full quote is. And, um, you know, that's, like, a common, that's a common, like, main through line of a lot of Hero's Journey stories. That's the, that's the shadow at work, but this is fully focused on what, on, on the shadow. And, and I wonder how this if the story is going to do anything with that that's interesting or new, or if they're just going to be... He goes down the dark path, he keeps going down the dark path, remembers that he's actually a good guy, and then uses it for good, and, and that's, like, an, again, another, like, Super Saiyan transformation where, like, he has to tread this dark road in order to grow stronger, and then the final... Um, at the final awakening of that is, you know, at, the, at your darkest moment, realizing that uh, you can you, you don't let it control you and that it's not the only way forward and then he can use all the shit that he learned by becoming dark and then uh, become a good guy in the end or something i don't know <laughs> or or if he'll go interesting with it and he's just actually a fucking villain by the end of it i don't know cuz becoming a necromancer like it's really cool aesthetically but it's also really fucked up it's like one of, it's probably the most it's a, there's a reason it's like in every you know fantasy or any series that you've probably seen it's like outlawed and like the worst possible yeah. shit because binding the undying souls for eternity to your will is um and, and removing their uh, their autonomy is pretty is like one of the most fucked up things that you can do mm -hmm. is essentially like soul slavery and then never has an end mm -hmm. so we'll see if that's if that's used to its full potential or if it's just going to be a cool aesthetic ability um but mm -hmm. the only time will tell and i really like i it's funny. Whenever I say this in shows, I it's literally setting myself up for disappointment because I feel like the whole thing with them, it's just being another power scaling tool. Like there's no way to avoid that. There, there's no other reason to have it as an ability story wise, especially in a story like this. Yeah. Where it, there's a constant need to like be one upping and the next thing. Like the whole the whole impact of the series is about the main character one upping the really powerful enemy. So in order mm -hmm. for that to happen, the enemy needs to have a way to be demonstrably very much more powerful so that he can one-up them and we can see, oh no, the mm -hmm. main character actually has all this potential and that's really satisfying for me as a viewer, um, is, the, is the idea. So 
I hope they don't go with the really cliche route, like I, like I was saying. I hope that it, they can actually do it. But then again, also me saying that is just setting up expectations rather than just enjoying the ride as we go. So mm -hmm. we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's at least fun when mm -hmm. uh, when all that stuff Yeah, happens. I was having a lot of fun this episode and last episode, definitely. Same. yeah. Like significantly more than for for a lot of the previous I think for the whole show like I think like you know like there's there's moments like that that it, it just it really hits really hard like mm -hmm. like the whole summoning scene yeah that was that was fucking sick the whole fight with Egress it was really good just mm -hmm. again staying in the moment being yeah. focused on this moment on the on the emotions that the main character's feeling we're deep enough into the story where I kind of do care about him to some degree and I want to see him succeed and mm -hmm. that's you know being in that energy is what is what I, from what I know, is what the show is made for to mm -hmm. begin with. So it, I, it's, that's why it's yeah. effective. You know? And I, I think, like, I, I feel like a lot of people think we've been doing a lot of complaining and are like, you know, we just have. enjoy the show. And I, I, I genuinely want to episode. just enjoy the show. And I, like, I feel like I'm finally able to enjoy the show. And I just wish the the show would stop giving Getting me these. In its own way. Would stop like it's it sabotaging itself. Not this episode. This episode was was really good, but last episode that was like so good, and and then and then it's like ruining itself yeah. for no for You're no it. reason. So I just wish that it would stop doing that because I like. I see the appeal, like I see the, I just want to tune in and watch this guy kick some ass and like be a super badass and have these crazy fights now that the animation is like really yes. picking up. It's like, I can get on board with it. I am completely down to just come every week and like watch the show and have fun and like see a cool fight. I just, I wish that it, we, we didn't have to deal with like weird uh, direction choices in ter and not even Almost in like terms absent director yeah, choices. Yeah, it's, it seems like, oh, we need these things. Uh, let's just like sl slice them in here without like paying any mind to it. Because this one, and it's just so weird because like this one, and then also that other episode from a while back with the, the guys that were murderers. Mm -hmm. Like that episode was really well directed. This episode, I think, was pretty good. Like, there, there are some good ones, but they then... did do the thing where they cut away, but it was at a better time. It was at a notice, better time when he was out. Yes, and then it cut away, and then it cut back, and he was back in. Yes. so it's like uh, that's why you you that's why you use a cutaway. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's it. But I want to I want to make sure that I everybody understands this is, a, this is a very positive. Like it's very it's a positive trend right now with the show. Yes. The last few episodes have have us on a very positive trend, and it's you know there are the the problems do still exist, but it's not nearly as big of a problem mm -hmm. this episode as it was. And the animation, like I said, is getting better with every episode. Like there's there's little things about it, um, not just, I, I, I'm not gonna get into all of it right now, but like a lot of people have the standard of like, oh, good animation means lots of frames. That's not necessarily always true. Um, Good animation to me is like using the environment like he did with the chandelier mm -hmm. or using a uh, 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 perspective like they did in the assassin when he was fighting the other assassin dude, the uh, Kong or whatever his name is. And, um, you know, different perspective, like showing like the hand is bigger than the whole face because it's closer to the camera or it's this is, for, you know, mm -hmm. and changing, not just like showing that in one shot, but like moving the camera around and having forcing the character designs to be sort of bent and manipulated with the, the, the camera's movement. Stuff like that, and, and that using that with action. And when he was, you know, we did see him actually fighting the the centipedes in the desert. And like the whole lighting and everything here was so good. And you see the perspective, you can kind of get an idea because his foot's here, the body's mm -hmm. there. Anyway, just there, there's there's so much to to love about uh, about it visually, and I feel like it really is getting better and better. And uh, I can see a lot of character in the animation, not just like oh cool big fight fucking kung fu fighting and stuff mm -hmm. but you see the character coming through in the movements and that's that's a very important aspect as well mm -hmm. so there, there is a lot to love about the show i didn't mean to click on that other than that i think it was really good i mm -hmm. think anything more you want to say no i i'm I, i'm like i'm excited to see the next episode i will say that like i you know n normally i feel like oh i, I don't you know may maybe it's gonna be good maybe it's gonna be be lame i'm like i'm 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 hopeful for the next one i'm, I'm excited to see it that's good to hear. Leave mm -hmm. a like and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one, Carson. I'm Lindsay. Bye-bye.